Hey, you vision fans. We have the results of the fourth heat of Eurovisia.lt, that's Lithuania's national final. Two more acts are going through to the grand final, Il Senso and Monica Maria. We're going to listen and react to both of their live performances and see could they be a contender to win. So uh, let's kick in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tom. I'm an Irish Eurovision analyst and you can find all of this stuff on my Eurovision channel. So as you may know, I've been covering all the heats as they've happened. So I've already reacted to six songs already. We've got two more today. The first one of those is called Il Senso and the song is Time. And this had a huge amount of televotes again. 3,232 votes, which beat the record from last week from Shower Singing Impossible. So the votes just seem to be going up and up. Maybe that could be just because viewership is increasing. If you're Lithuanian, tell me, why are the televotes going up so much every single week? Okay, I'm guessing this is going to be some sort of an opera group based on the Italian name. Let's find out. One and a my secret bank. But this is the televote winner so far, if you just go by pure numbers. Oh, that's a very nice beginning. Oh, that's a very, very nice beginning. I really like that lighting. And that's a very pretty instrumental. Okay, I'm getting it so far. <gasps> oh, the drama. Oh, it's so dramatic. <laughs> he went to his acting classes. Oh, yes, this is so camp. Oh, it's so goofy. I love it. Those visuals behind are really, 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 really pretty. Got a guy walking. Is he walking on the moon? Yeah. It's giving a little bit of art house theater, but in a very personable way. Like I'm rooting for them. Visuals behind there's some really, really nice stuff in the LEDs. Are they gonna fall? Don't turn this into falling by Montenegro. Hmm, that's a bit, this is very intriguing. It's a very different type of entry. Like it's a four piece, two men, two women, with this kind of slightly operatic, not operatic, but different style of singing. Hmm, yeah. I think some of the countenance maybe just dial it down a little bit. Just make it like 10% less goofy. Okay, there's a bit of opera there. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. Is this cool? No, <laughs> this is not cool. But it's very, I'm, in, I'm enjoying my time here. Yeah, they are upper group. You can hear the quality in their singing. LEDs are a real hit for me. I'm enjoying all of them. Okay, let's hear it focus a little bit more on the chorus now. Yeah, it's it's very lovely. It is lovely. I kind of unexpected. I wasn't expecting it to be this pretty. Maybe lacking a little bit of impact, but also being soft is a different type of impact, isn't it? it sounds a little bit medieval as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, like, let's be real. Some, definitely some really great stuff in that. Love the, <laughs> I love the singing. The singing was very high quality. Love the LEDs, love the drama. It's super goofy. <laughs> just, it's very goofy. Yeah, just some of the kind of like, slightly over the top hand mechanisms and then the more singing in a row, like singing four notes consecutively. I'm not saying it can't work, but it, it, it doesn't give off a kind of like cool chicness. That, there's nothing wrong with that though. Some people like stuff that's a little bit more kind of old fashioned or kind of Eurovision 2000. So yeah, like, like overall, I'm um, definitely mostly positive about this. I think just maybe make it like just a little bit cooler, a little bit less silly in some parts, but there's lots of stuff that's really lovely here. The, the chorus may be lacking a little bit. Of, I really enjoyed the verses and that opening sequence with the light on them and the halo was really, really, really pretty. And I'm, I always emphasize that the first five, 10 seconds is really important. 
because casual Eurovision fans, they're watching the screen, they're like, am I going to be bothered with this three minutes? Because it's quite tiring for them to go through the Eurovision final when they're not as interested as we are. So getting piquing someone's interest on in that first 10 seconds is really important. This song did that really, really well. I can see why that did well in the television. I thought there were a lot of really interesting qualities in it. I think if they went to cool school, then this could actually be kind of fun to send. Yeah, it's nice that Lithuania have a third option because I think we're all thinking that Luktalk is going to be a favourite and we're assuming that the Rup is going to be a favourite. So now there's a third person in the mix. So I like that. We want the national finals to be competitive. We don't want them to just have like one great person and then kind of like seven, you know, nine people just filling. You want the national final to be like full of loads of cool stuff. So again, I, I like this. It, it increases the average quality of the final. Okay, let's go to the second song. And this is Monica Maria saying, unlove you starting tomorrow. <laughs> just, just as a native English speaker, that's not the best title. It's, uh, I get what she's doing, but it sounds quite, it sounds a bit clunky. Never mind, Monica Maria has been in the contest before. I believe she was the lady who had two songs on the final and they made her pick one. Obviously very talented and it's another Monica. So we've had Monica Leo, we've had Monica Lekite. Are we going to have a Monica for the third? You know, we love our Lithuanian Monikas, definitely. But yeah, she didn't do as well on the television. She got 921 points, but she won the jury. So I'm guessing this is a ballad. Yeah, sorry, that title is <laughs> that title is quite jarring in English. But we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Of course, I go into every reaction, positive, open-minded, fresh-faced. Want to know my secret? Bang. And she obviously really wants to represent them because she's come back so many times. Oh, she looks a little bit like Victoria from Bulgaria. Oh, it's a bit different than I was expecting. A bit more singer-songwriter. Yeah, nice different feel. She's got a Britney mic on, so she's gonna do some dancing or moving. Hmm. Nice soft country feel. I don't really associate Lithuania with country music. I got a bit of a sway on. This feels like a swayer song with a bit of a lighter. I like the staging, very pretty. We've got like a wallpaper, so it's almost like she's in this big empty room with a high roof and that window. Lovely soft fireplace lighting on her as well. Mm. The song, it doesn't have a, a, a bam moment. It's a bit of a steady climb. Very nice voice. Good control. Oh, I'm wonky today. Let me make that not wonky. Oh, is that better? Ooh. Focus on the song. She's definitely going for the country feel now because this styling is very country with the flower on the shirt. Mmm. Yeah, she's building to a nice mount. I'm just trying to pick out like what are the key moments in the song. Yeah, it's very much a one woman show. A lot of focus on her, which is, and she's holding her own. I just don't think this will qualify. I don't really think it's got like a bit of enough of a, um, it's got a hook. The mood is cool, but uh, it's a vibe. It's just, it's too much of a vibe and not enough of a... It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, like I'm not saying that's bad at all. That isn't a bad song, 
very pretty oh and, I, and super cool landing with her looking in the mirror actually some really really nice staging elements i think that other people who do these type of like slower introspective songs could take some tips from her because i felt like a lot was happening there i liked the her in the room with the wallpaper i liked the flashing light moment and then just coming back and looking in the mirror at the end so really really great stuff in that aspect and she's a great performer sang a great great intensity didn't get too much eye contact maybe a little bit more i kind of with the camera Songwise, it's just a bit too, I actually think it was okay before. Songwise, just lacking a bit of a wire moment or a hook that makes me want to listen to that. Very easy to sit through, pleasant, soft country song with a little bit of a build, but no like massive hook that I've got stuck in my head or anything like that. So just the song isn't there. I'd like to see her win it eventually one year though, because she obviously wants to, she's talented. She's got the quality of a performer to do well on the Eurovision stage, but yeah, she just needs a better song. So that is what I thought about the two other finalists we have in Eurovisio.lt. So definitely Il Senso are my winners there. I agree with the televote in this case, not the jury. I thought that was entertaining. I was very entertained for those three minutes, even though there are a couple of things I'd change. We're not expecting the semi-final of the national final to be perfect. There's plenty of time for them to practice, watch their performance back. We saw that with Benidorm Fest, you know, how a lot of things improved between the semi-finals and the final. So still lots of time to come. I hope that they do kind of make a couple of small tweaks because it would be exciting to have a third song in the mix, especially since they're in the top 10 right now. I really want Lithuania to get that first win. Okay, what did you think about those two songs? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to Mitch G for supporting me on PayPal and also to CL Hero and Anonymous for supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee. If I am a full-time content creator, so if you want to support the channel, I'll leave links to you in the description down below. And of course, thank you to all my Patreons for patronizing me from all over the world. On my Patreon, you can get the original audio when I got copyrighted, some early releases, some updates about upcoming videos, and you can join our My Eurovision Scoreboard group, so go check that out if you're a fan. But of course, thank you so much just for watching and maybe leaving a like and maybe sharing that video. And thanks so much for watching. I've seen another Eurovision analysis video very soon. Goodbye. Boop.